When it comes to burgers, the king of the hill is a pastrami burger. Dang good. Oh man, this comes with a sauce you're gonna dig and I'm gonna show you how to make it right now. I have a half a pound of pastrami and it's just a really thin cut. And here's the thing about pastrami and burgers. Nobody's sure where this combination came from. As you can see, it's very thin cut. All we know for sure is in the 1970s, a Greek gentleman moved from New York to California, opened a place called Minos Burgers, put some pastrami on there. He moved to Salt Lake City in the 80s and it really took off from there. So what I'm gonna do with this pastrami is I have some boiling water over here on the Cuisinart and I'm going to put the pastrami over that boiling water. That way it warms up, kind of gives it that steamed effect. I have just four slices here, down it goes over that. Actually, I'm gonna, yeah, I think I'm gonna just do that for now. Another thing that we wanna do is we wanna make some traditional Utah French fry dip. Now we're not making any French fries, but it does call for about a half a cup of mayo. I'm gonna leave a little bit left because in behind because I got plans for it. Call for about a half a cup of mayo or of, sorry, ketchup. A little bit of a stir. Now this stuff is gonna act as, you know, instead of putting mayo, mustard, etc., on this, this is what's gonna just bring this all together. I'm gonna put a little bit of sweet relish into this. Mix it in there. I think I need a little more. Yeah, it's about perfect. Awesome. And I'm gonna need some onion powder. I got some right here. There we go. Give it a taste. I'm gonna add some more sweet relish to it. All right. That's great. Now the next part is our burgers. And I've already got the pre-cut burgers, pre-made, whatever you wanna call them. Sometimes that's the best way to go, 80-20. Now I'm gonna use what I call dude dust. And it's just my own concoction. Tom Garvey over at the Keto Cook's trying to get me to sell it. I don't know. Anyhow, so dude dust, salt, pepper works, salt, pepper, garlic, onion, any of those combinations will work just fine. So dude dust side down first on the Cuisinart. We're gonna add some more dude dust to the other side. That way we got it on both sides. So that's how it looks right now. Take our dude dust and a nice sprinkling on top. Hi bud, where's your clothes? Out you go. All right, now those are gonna cook down, but while they're cooking, remember earlier, I got some nice buns, some artisan buns, and we're gonna toast our buns. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna toast our buns. You can use butter for this if you want. I like using mayo, it just works for me. And you don't wanna do a whole heck of a lot because if you, the more fat, more mayo or mustard, the more butter, whatever you put on this, the more it's gonna just soak up into this bun. Well, you can tell I haven't done a video in a while. All right, that's just about perfect. I'm gonna lay these down on the Cuisinart. Now we're gonna watch these for a few minutes. Make sure they get nice and toasted on the bottom. Flip our burgers. I'll show you when we get to that point. Been about four minutes for our buns. Now, one of the things that I like to do is use a spatula on our buns to take a look at the bottom. Look at that. The reason being is if I go like this, I'm gonna get these all these crazy indentations, etc., and the bun's just not gonna look that good. Put it right there. Now, I think it's time to check our burgers. We got some great char going on on the bottom. Yep, these burgers look amazing, by the way. Kind of move this around a little bit. Let that steam kind of come through all of our, now our burgers are cooking for that last, you know, that home run stretch. I got some cheese. Now I'm using American cheese just because it just melts so nicely. You can use whatever cheese you want. Just keep in mind that it's not gonna quite melt the way that you want it to. Sometimes it's more of a pain just trying to figure out how to open these dumb things. You know, American cheese was invented by a Canadian of all things. And it was just a way that he came up with to store cheese so it lasted longer for the US military. There's your cheese trivia question the next time you're out and about talking with people. Where does American cheese come from? A Canadian. I'm gonna smash these down a little bit. Yeah, the juices are running out. That's fine. We're not ready there yet. Boy, but that pastrami sure is getting warm. All right, I'm gonna bring you back when we put that cheese on. Our Canadian American cheese, eh? Okay, so we're rounding third base, headed for home on cooking these burgers. Let's put some cheese down. Oh, heck yeah. Now, these aren't gonna take very long. We're talking maybe a minute, minute and a half. Meantime, I'm gonna open these up and we're gonna take our sauce that we made earlier spread it on the bottom of one or two of these buns. However much sauce you wanna put on this is up to you. I'm gonna put some shredded lettuce on this as well. And that shredded lettuce is really gonna to adhere to that traditional Utah fry sauce. Excellent, let's check our cheese. Getting there. I'm gonna take the pastrami off because it is super hot. I mean, it's not like crazy burn yourself hot, 
but it's nice and warm. All that steam's gone through. All right, I'm gonna turn the heat off on the Cuisinart 360 griddle. I'm gonna start pulling off these burgers with cheese. Lay that first one down like that. Heck yeah. Ciao, bud. Grandson, he decided he wanted to check out what's going on. Mm, sorry, I had to try it. This is good stuff. And we're gonna cap it. You wanna put tomatoes on this? You wanna put pickles? I say go for it. There you go, right there. Whew. Hot. That is the burger to die for right there. I'm gonna bring you in for a close up. And these burgers look amazing. You got that melted Canadian American cheese, eh? Top that up, look at that. Nice toasted bun, both sides, looks great. There's those other two burgers. You can see some of that sauce in there, the lettuce. I think we're ready. Before we eat this, I just wanna take a look inside of one of them. I delicately cut it. <laughs> That looks amazing. All right, so let's give it a try. See what it's like. Let me tell you, first thing I get is that fry sauce, but it doesn't overpower it because the pastrami, the burger, get a little hint of salt, pepper, that dude does. This just all comes together. It just, just works. And it's juicy as all get out. I mean, seriously, cooked to perfection. All right, that's how you make a pastrami burger. Give it a try. The grilling dude's back. It's grilling time here in the U.S. So, hey, it's in my name. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, ring that bell. See you on the next episode of The Grilling Dude. Take care, guys.